For months now, portions of the Sir Francis Drake Hotel have been wrapped in scaffolding. The front windows are all boarded up, part of the efforts to shutter and revamp the property during the pandemic. Taxi, taxi. For decades, the famed hotel provided guests with one of the most unique perspectives of the city. With the now legendary Beefeater Bellman and the Powell Street cable car at the front door, it was a standout. And now the new owners have announced plans to reopen, but with an extra change. In 1928, when the Sir Francis Drake Hotel opened, it was called the West Coast's finest hotel. The new owners say when it reopens in spring, it's going to be called the Beacon Grand. In a short statement, Hotel General Manager Sebastian Pfeiffer writes in part, We're excited to share the extraordinary story of the Beacon Grand, the name change, and the many new and refined experiences from street to star. But today, no one at the hotel or the new ownership group would answer questions about the timing of the name change or whether the decision was an attempt to avoid recent controversy surrounding other landmarks that use the famed British sailor and slave trader's name. The name is not and cons consistent with contemporary standards. In fact, if you go to the British Museum, they, when they talk about Sir Francis Drake, they talk about him as being the father of enslavement for the British Empire. San Francisco resident Noah Griffin has recently helped with efforts in San Anselmo to rename what used to be Sir Francis Drake High School to Archie Williams High in honor of the Olympic gold medalist and teacher. In the last few years, supporters of the Black Lives Matter movement have zeroed in on all things Sir Francis Drake, including what used to be a massive statue in Larkspur. It was taken down in 2020 by order of the city manager after a series of protests. Griffin supports reconsidering old historic names, sometimes in favor of new ones. Contemporary heroes are something that come along on a regular basis, and we should be reevaluating people were heroes in the past, may not be heroes now. For this signature hotel, being rebranded as the Beacon Grand avoids the possibility of any future reevaluations of historic characters. In San Francisco, Sergio Quintana, NBC, Bay Area News.